As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to spend some time right now talking with one of the authors that you'll find published through absolutely amazing ebooks, and that is local author Ben Harrison. No one tells a story quite like this guy. He has written the book Undying Love, which is the gothic tale of obsessive love and just pure madness. Ben has also recently released Charlie Jones, which could definitely make for the perfect summer read. He has details on both of these novels for us today. Ben, thank you for being back with me on the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, it's always fun talking with you. And Ben, I have to say that your cover shot, this woman, looks very, very familiar. It's, it's Key Letty West. Letty Nowak. Res yeah, Key West resident Letty Nowak. So what, what was the idea by putting her on the well, cover? Well, covers are always hard to come up with, but she mm -hmm. resembles so much one of the main characters in the book. Mm -hmm. Who's an artist? Okay, and so it uh, it just seemed to work. Okay, so I think it's, it's a good cover. I I love it. I love the shot, and she's doing what she does best, yes. which is painting. Mm -hmm. So the character isn't based on Letty, though. The character? No, it's not. Okay. It, the the book takes place in Corpus Christi, Texas, which is where I was raised and grew up, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, it was fun to sort of take a computer trip back to. South Texas. I, I, I'm not going to move any time soon. <laughs> but, uh, You're not going back no, to Texas? No, <laughs> <laughs> Was it good years in Texas though, Ben? It was a great place to grow up. Um, yeah, and, uh, I, I laugh, I'd lost my bike for a, a week and my mother was mad at me, so we drove around trying to find out where it was. And it was just sitting out in front of the, the pharmacy there that uh, had a lunch counter. And we didn't even think of locking a bike back then. And mm -hmm. We walked to school. It was pretty, pretty uh, Mayberry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So your bike being in front of the pharmacy store, nothing had happened to it. No, it was just still sitting. No, there. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a safe town. It was. Uh, all right. And Charlie Jones is set there. Tell me a little bit more else about Charlie Jones. Well, it's a generational novel. It's not a mystery. It's not a murder. Uh, there, no, no, no blood involved. Mm -hmm. But. Um, it uh, follows uh, uh, a father, son, and then the grandson of the original father, uh, and uh, through their foibles, and it, it's about money, sex, what's important in life, and, and uh, it uh, really just sort of holds up life and looks at it from as many angles as you can. Mm -hmm. Now, was it hard for you to write this book, Ben, or did it just seem to flow? Well, this is my first novel. Mm -hmm. The other uh, books I've written are nonfiction, and uh, I felt this was great fun because I could just, I got to be God. Mm -hmm. I decided what fate would do to all these characters, whether mm -hmm. they lived or died or whether they uh, failed or succeeded in romance and, mm -hmm. and art. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very liberating. I, I, I had a great time writing it. <laughs> well, uh, good. <laughs> you know, in, in nonfiction, you're trying to be accurate, but mm -hmm. at the same time, tell a, a very good story. But there, you're really confined mm -hmm. um, by facts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell that you had a good time writing this book because you came away with a good product, Ben. It is definitely different, though, than uh, your book, Undying Love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> totally different Very books. Different. And as I mentioned, Undying Love is just pure madness, Ben. Yes. The story that it revolves around. Yes. It. And tell our viewers who aren't familiar with the story in Undying Love. Well, uh, when people come up to me and, and uh, say, did you write Undying Love? What's that about? And I say, well, it's the guy who took the dead girl from the crypt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in a sentence, that's, that's it. He was... Uh, the Count was a very strange character who fell madly in love with Elena Hoyos, and uh, uh, after her death, uh, he became very obsessed with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True story that took place in the 1930s here in Key West, and that's one of the things about um, his story was that he, after he left Key West, he went to Zephyr Hills, and there he wrote his memoirs in the wingless airplane that he carried up there with him from Key West. Mm -hmm. And so not only did I have the facts, which Tom Hambright helped me out with, and, and numerous people here in town that knew him, or Elena, that I interviewed in the, doing the research for the book, but we have his account of what he did and why he did it. Oh so it, it, it came at me from all angles. Mm -hmm. Well, what inspired you to uncover this story again, Ben? 
I was playing the guitar at the Bull, mm -hmm. and I read a, a chapter about this story in a, in a tourist guidebook. I think it was a Key West Companion. And uh, I said, wow. So I, I wrote a song about it, just right as fast as I could. It took me about a week or so. And, mm -hmm. and it started to be the number one song requested by people in the bar. Mm -hmm. And uh, people simply did not believe it. And so I, I uh, would actually take pictures of the Count and, and Elena on her beer mm -hmm. just to prove it to people that it was true. And just the amount of fascination with the story, mm -hmm. I, I wrote a play about it called Undying Love. And uh, um, a publisher heard some of the music from that and gave me an advance to write the book. And so that's... That's how it how all happened. All happened, yes. All right. So you wrote a play. Has the play been acted out here in Key West? At uh, <laughs> the Apple Ruth Grill about 15 years ago. <laughs> okay. But uh, I, I, I may it may have uh, legs still. Um, I had uh, sold the rights to the book to um, Danny Elfman, and uh, so I was very restricted in what we could do with the with the play. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is going to be re-released under Absolutely Amazing eBooks, which I'm very tickled about. I think. I, I'm, I'm very excited to be with them and have them as my publisher. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm excited that you're hooked with them, too. We just got done speaking with Cheryl Rhodes. He's excited about you coming on board. And as you mentioned, Undying Love will be re-released this June. And Ben, I think you should consider bringing the play back to Key West, all right? Again. I do, too. <laughs> I do, too. Yeah. Uh, I was asked, I was on a, uh, doing the interview with Howard Stern, and about the play, about the book, and he said, well, this would be a good uh, movie. And I said, well, it's been an option. He said, well, what about a play? And I said, well, I've actually written a play. He says, well, what song would people walk away from the play singing? And I said, well, she was pickled and he poked her. Look what love made him do. <laughs> to poke a pickled person, you've got to have a loose screw. And he, he told me I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Stern told you that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Ben. That is, I, I don't know, is that a compliment? Is that an insult? What? I, I, I don't know either. We'll just <laughs> leave it at that. All right, good bragging. Good bragging rights, right. Ben, thank you for being on, and hopefully everybody can pick up their copy of Charlie Jones. It would make for a great beach read this summer. Also pick up your copy of Undying Love, which will be re-released this June. Thank yes. Thank you for being back on. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.